Yo, what's up guys, Jinsek here, and Authentrend has sent me their fingerprint scanner for your Windows Hello device. This is a Chucky Beat production. production. Now that's where we're going to start in this video. It's Windows Hello. It doesn't work with Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows uh, almost at Windows 9. Windows 8.1, it only works with Windows 10. Now try with Windows 7 and it said there's no programs installed. It recognized the fingerprint scanner as an actual fingerprint scanner, but it said there's no programs for it. And on this, it installed some programs on Windows 10, but it didn't install on Windows 7. So yeah, you get the idea here. If you don't know already, Windows Hello is kind of a service so you can use facial recognition you could use a fingerprint scanner kind of like this and other advanced ways rather than just using your password or pin now first off the unboxing it wasn't really that hard all you have to really do is just tear it open it's not an actual box so I don't want to really call it an unboxing but I guess I will but on the front you didn't really have anything just a display of the fingerprint scanner on the back you have some information about the fingerprint scanner and at the very bottom of it you have a QR code that you can scan for the user manual and this this is the fingerprint scanner. It's small, so you can bring it around easier. It's sleek, and it just look good. And this bar right here that you see is just a status light. Now, the setup's pretty easy. All you have to do is go to your window settings, go to sign-in settings, go ahead and set up a pin if you don't have one already. And then you can set up your Windows Hello fingerprint scanner. Now, setting up the fingerprint scanner itself is pretty much just like your phone. So you rest your finger on there, let it go. Rest your finger on there, let it go, and then it's pretty much done. And after you're done with all that, you can add more fingerprints if you want. Now, using the actual thing, there's been times where actually a lot of times where it didn't recognize my fingerprint sometimes it just got frustrating and it just wouldn't work at all and it had to enter my pin and that was kind of sad to me because it had 360 degree reading where it can actually scan your finger in any direction so it doesn't really matter if it's this way or this way or that way oh uh, yeah that way yeah. it doesn't really matter it's just supposed to work but it does have this thing called smart learning so it does recognize your fingerprint and gets better at it as you keep scanning it i noticed that seems to work now seen by some Amazon reviewers that this doesn't work on a fresh boot like when you restart or turn off your computer but it seems to work for me. I have the Windows 10 creators update and it doesn't have any problems with me. Now overall I do have to recommend this device. Even though I had some troubles logging in with this thing it does seem to get better and better as I use it so I will do a review later on like next week or so to let you know how it goes. The only issue I really have with this thing is that it takes up one of my USB ports and that seems to be a thing with a lot of reviewers but I like this thing I give it an A. Not an A plus an A. These things are really cheap on Amazon. This runs for $35 on Amazon, so actually cheaper than a lot of them. But I'll leave a link down below so you can check it out. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. This thing runs on Amazon for $35. I'll leave a link down. Wow, I dropped it.